and welcome back to another video. Today I will be taking a look at the All Beatles add-on. Now if you haven't seen the uh, the live stream of Danktopia, the 11th live stream of Danktopia, then, um, then you may know that she's, had, she's been spayed, so that's why she's wearing a cone. Well, she, I didn't have the cone on it all the time. I did give her a chance to not lick them, but then she started licking them, so I had to put it on because I don't want to, you know, undoing the stitches and then having to give back in. But yeah, this uh, add-on, the add-on. Yes, this uh, appears, uh, this looks like a good one. Um, so, we Speedy, Speedy Gonzalez. Anyway. Um, so, sp how do they spawn? Beetles naturally spawn underground in the overworld and in the nether. They always spawn as simple beetles and immediately start looking for ore blocks. Okay, so something I was thinking about this is um, how it would work in Superflash. I mean, it really, really wouldn't work because um, they start off as simple beetles so they can't spawn with ore or the attached them and they can't get ore in a super flat world but that my question is like oh naturally underground so is it so i do know in minecraft there are two different types of sport hostile mob spawns like so there's the so the first one is just like a above ground spawn where there's uh you know uh no solid blocks above them uh and they that usually just like night time or if you have like um uh, what's the glass that you make? Uh, tinted glass. Uh, or if it's tinted glass above them. Uh, that's when they used to spawn. And the second type of, uh, mob spawn is on, is like, you know, underground cave mobs, which all they need for that is for there to be a solid block above their heads. Now, if I had to get, um, it is probably the same as like a hostile mob where they just need a solid block above their head and they did that till, um, that's all they need to uh, spawn probably. If we have a look around down here, we should probably find one. Oh yeah, there's one over there. There are two over here. So there we go, we've got uh, one spawn in here. And then he should... So if I go away, so he should look for that... Why is he... Okay. Apparently he doesn't like copper. Behaviour. Once simple beetles are find an ore block, they transform into that particular ore beetle and can never transform back. Uh, defense. Beetles scare easily. They can kill up if you get near them. Once you are far enough away, they unkill and go about their business. While killed up, beetles don't take damage. Healing. If a beetle does get hit, you can feed them in order to heal them. Overworld beetles that can be healed with redstone dust and never uh, beetles can be healed with glowstone dust. Harvest. Once the crystals on the back of an ore beetle is fully grown, you uh, can harvest it uh, the same, uh, with the same pickaxe as you would to their respective ore. Uh, use the pickaxe on the ore beetle just as you would uh, use a pair of shears on a sheep. And then there's the different types. So uh, there are two simple beetles: a blue one that spawns in the overworld, a red one that spawns in the nether overworld. With us, does diamond, emerald, iron, gold, copper, coal, redstone, lapis, and amethyst. Uh, there are four nether ones: that's quartz, gold, glowstone, and ancient debris. There's beetle jars. For easy transportation of beetles, you can uh, use a beetle jar. It is a U shape of glass. Uh, use an empty beetle jar on any beetle in order to capture it. 
Place the beetle jar on the ground and break it in order to release the beetle. You can empty the jar block. You can you can, you get the empty jar back. Quick tips: uh, catch a simple beetle before it transforms and then release it near the ore block you want. Beetles despawn just like any other mob. If you want to to keep a beetle, uh, make sure it, to give it a name. We've made a name tag name tags craftable with string and paper. Okay, so if I give at B G R or Beetle Jar. So if I right click on you, I pick you up and then I put you down on there. We break I break it. And then will you Huh. It does not seem to want to transform into any ore. Wasn't well, there another one over here? Has that one transformed? Nope. Ah. I wonder why they're not transforming. This world can be a bit buggy, so it might be a bug on this world. Uh, if you've seen the Tinker's Construct add-on uh, review, you'll know what I mean when this world can be buggy. So, what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to save and quit. I'm going to go into the add-on test world. This world is just like my uh, world that I use on the side to creative mode test add-ons. Um, oh yeah, I was doing that. Uh, I'll just activate the Beatles add-on as well. And see if this works. So let me just get a put them in there. Beat the redstone, gold, lapis, emerald, glowstone, I you know. Overworld beetle jar. So let's get some of these and get some or so iron gold diamond lapis redstone coal copper and emerald so if i put down iron and i just ah i'm gonna need to go into game game oh, hold on let me just get some pickaxes first so Let's get the stone, iron, diamond, and netherite. Game mode zero. You break it. I should. Yeah, there we go. So now he's a little iron dude. Mm. Uh, I don't think that's fully grown yet. So I think we need to wait for it to fully grow before we can harvest it. Well, let me just um, get rid of that. So then there's gold. So he'll stand on top of it, he'll shake a bit, and then now he's gold. I don't really need to get rid of it all. And there's diamond. So he'll shake a bit. Now he's diamond. Lapis, break it. Run away. Oh, he, he that one really did not want to be lapis. Um. Actually, I should probably break these because then they won't try and transform into these or... Oh yeah, he's Lapis now by the looks of it. Yeah, he's got a little bit of Lapis growing on his back. Now, Redstone. And he's a problem. Okay, right, so we should. You know, 
the uh, ore detection on these guys could do a with a bit of work. Um, I'm just gonna. In case I'm in. Yeah, he's not gonna do it if I'm too close. So if I go into game mode one. There you go, now he's set uh, redstone. Okay, he's not scared of me anymore. Oh, there we go. Alright, so let's try it with this. Is, oh no, he's running away. Alright, uh, this guy's done. So do you just, I think, do you right click? Yeah, you just right click them and the, the, you harvest the all off them. Uh, with the right level pickaxe, of course. Does fortune affect it? E N chant at P four three. So I only got one, so maybe it depends on like how big you let them grow. Yeah, you can just have them around and every so often they just break a bit of all off their back. You gonna turn into coal, little buddy? I think he is. Yeah, he's a coal. Little coal guy. Let me just get rid of that. Uh, I can just drop all these because I don't need these anymore. I think it, uh, if you break these from a distance, they're less going to be less likely to run away. Yeah, they don't. Yeah, they don't see me. So now, so they didn't run away, and now he's a copper, co copper guy. Yeah. The old copper guy. Now emerald. And now he's an emerald guy. But yeah, the uh, ore detection could do it with a little bit of work, but yeah, pretty cool. And they are cute. I do like them. I do. Uh, I don't that lean uh, into like more of, like the. Uh, well, I don't know exactly how to describe them. More like well, <laughs> fantasy like more like you know creative side of Minecraft like this. Uh, it's really cool in my opinion. My beetles with a Chris like wrote all on their back is very like in like kind of like a similar vein to like uh, cows that grow mushrooms on their back. Honestly, if this wasn't an add-on, it was just a straight up Minecraft feature. I honestly wouldn't be that surprised because it wouldn't. Be, it doesn't. In my opinion, it kind of does gel quite well with Minecraft itself. Like, it doesn't look like. Uh, the ore in its bag does look a little bit like an uh, add-on or a mod or whatever you want to call it, but it does. Yeah, but it does. It is a very Minecrafty thing, is what I'm trying to say, which I, which is something I do like about it. Yeah, let's check out the Never All ones. So you got quartz. Uh, didn't do no. It's not never gold. It's quartz. Asian debris. Wait. Well, let me just double check real quick. Uh, types. Oh yeah, Qu it, it was gold. So quartz, gold, glowstone, Asian debris, quartz, gold, glow, and. Deb. Uh, 
Team mate zero. Please. Oh yeah, I forgot to get the actual. Uh, is it just red? There. Uh, Let's do no uh beat. So there's the uh redstone, gold, lapis, emerald, glowstone, iron, gold, never never beetle, they're called. So we put the never beetle down in the jar. And now it's never quartz, so they'll do the cute. They, and yeah, and I forgot to mention this, but they are adorable, these little guys. Let's wait for him. There we go. And got never gold. Oh, that was a lot of gold. <laughs> 24 gold nuggets. I didn't even know it was possible to get that many gold nuggets from a single uh, never gold ore. And you put one on glowstone because the old glowstone guy. And now I got a little Asian debris guy. Yeah, I got this. Take a while. Yeah, they look cool, and I think they will all probably have like different uh, grow rates. Now, obviously, iron and gold is gonna grow faster than diamond and. Diamond, but not as fast as coal. You right click. It's not like super OP because you have to wait a bit and then manually harvest them to get a, a single of the ore. It's not super OP. You could get a bunch of these there, but. That depends on how much they spawn. It's easy to get a bunch of these and it's pro then it's probably a bit more powerful. Yeah. Pretty cool, I do like them. Oh, and I like... Oh, I, I just noticed that they've got like uh, the crimson... The, the little antennas look a little bit like the crimson roots or what? Crimson vines or whatever they're called. On the Crimson Forest. Well, maybe I'm just seeing things. I could just be seeing things. Yeah, definitely a cool little add-on with some cute little bugs that are quite useful. Um, and it's like these, and it would be like decently. Uh, difficult to get a uh, bunch of these because he uh, for most of these you'd need silk touch especially for like a uh, diamond oh got a couple of glowstone there uh, for like especially if you want to get diamond guys because you probably want to uh, like silk touch the ore bring the ore to the surface and I like, put it in like a farm and then they just have like and then just put your bugs in the farm and then have them be the ore so Well, I think, hold on, uh, let me just empty my inventory real quick. So, oh wait, I'm in survival, I forgot. Yeah. Game, game mode one. So I think uh, what you'd probably want to do here is you would want to uh, uh, just grab any block. I'm just going to do that. 
grab some oak planks. So what you'd want to do is you'd want to have like a bit of an area. Just like, I could have just, yeah, hold on. I'll grab the fence because fence will be easier and it'll look a bit better. Uh, fence right there. Right, so we just make a right, little area here out of fence. I don't like it when fences connect to other things. Like, anyway, then you like get, and then you just have like the all that you want. So say you wanted some diamond beetles, you get some, you get a diamond or over and just and catch some beetles and then you just like put the diamond ore in hold on i'm gonna want a car so you put the diamond ore down you put your beetles in here just And then you to just like leave them to change into diamond, and then you do, and then you just wait. And you probably want to leave the diamond ore in there just so that when you catch some more, you can just put it up. Oh, I've got some more here. I want some more diamond ones, so I just put the put them in here so I can have some more diamond guys. And then you just like leave them to grow their. Uh, uh, the old diamond is all, diamonds up and then uh, every once in a while just come over and it's like oh they've grown and you just like take a pickaxe and you just like to click on there you just interact with them with the pickaxe and uh, they get the diamonds off them this does kind of like compete with um oh i forgot to show off the uh amethyst yeah out P am um, fist block. This does kind of compete with the uh, goal golem sheep, the uh, the old golems add on. There you go. He's got a little pair of crystals on his back. Um, because it, they kind, of, it, they're both kind of the same. Well, not exactly the same. So the all gold, the all golems add on that has the all sheep, and now it does have more all sheep, and this has bugs. That also has like concrete, concrete powder, obsidian, uh, all sheep as well. Um, and uh, they are. Uh, so I think uh, that you know they. Uh, the two add-ons can kind of coexist because I think this has, uh, th I think this is better than uh, the sheep that do exist because I think, um, well, not for automation. For automation, the sheep are better because you can, uh, uh, you can just like put an observer, observer on the grass block, and then when once they eat, so the grass block just have them be automatically sheared. But I think this one's a bit better because you don't have to go to the nether to get the overworld ores. You can just uh, uh, go into a cave and you might find some of these eel guys. Um, and I think they will. And I think they also do. Uh, and I think they also are producing less than the ore sheep, so I think they are kind of, they can kind of coexist, and they also have like two different aesthetics. Like, you may have a build where these little guys that make more, having these little guys and they make more sense. Like, if you like, uh, want to build a dwarven city, uh, in an add on world that you'd, you'd like, you'd want these guys over the ore sheep because it makes more sense. Because in a dwarven city, you, there's not really like, well, grass, it would be way more effort to get sheep there because you'd have to like bring the grass down and it, uh, everything and it would just be a lot more hassle. But with these guys, they live in the uh, cave, so you don't need to really 
do much to keep them happy. Ooh, that one gave me two. Um, so the so depending on your build, they would also make more sense than sheep. Um, yeah, is it is a cool add-on. Um, also, some people may prefer prefer the look of these to these sheep. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you like, obviously, if you like how, uh, the look of this ad on it, uh, I could definitely recommend. Also, with the ore sheep, it is more difficult to acquire them because you need, uh, like, nether quartz and stuff. So you actually need to go to the nether just to make the goal of med. Yeah, it is pretty cool. Um... Yeah, I can definitely recommend it if you, obviously, if you like the look of the add-on, you can check it out for yourself. Hope you guys all did enjoy this video. There's a Discord a link down in the description. You can join that to get to, uh, updates when I'm going live and just chat with me if uh, I'm uh, on the, you know, if I'm not doing anything, I'll be, uh, I'll reply to you. Uh, if you've got, like, any questions or uh, want to make a video request or anything yeah you can do that on there so i hope you guys all did enjoy this video i hope to see you guys in the next video and bye, -bye.